Okay, so we're doing Rav Nassim on Vayesha, a little bit the rest of Vayesha. So first of all, Nachman tells us, Rabbi Nachman tells us, a very, very deep level in what Yaakov told the brothers. Yaakov told the brothers, Kel shit shaka yite lechem rachem. Shem should give you rachem. So Rabbi Nachman said this, we don't understand the Shem. We don't understand. There are things, there are behemoths, this from Nassim says, by much, he talks about the Hanukkah as well. There are elements. There's another Mahalach of Gil from Mahalach of Hanukkah. He says, really, there are elements, it's called, it's called Makif, surrounding light. And it's so surrounding, it's so sublime, it's so high, you can't really bring it in in this world. We don't have the ability. We can't access that light in this world. So what do we do? So that's this Bechim of the Pach Hashem, the seal Pach Hashem. But then after it's called Ayat. We spoke a little bit about Ayat. Searching for Hashem, where are you, reveals the highest light. Very beautiful. He said, What is the highest light? The highest light is the source of all the kashas that just, this whole world doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. This world's very, very difficult to, to put into perspective. My uncle one time had this, this guy, this guy was like, He's a very good organizer. He was a very, that was his thing. He was an academic, I think, also an organizer. He had an administrator, whatever. And he once said to my uncle, what? You think Hashem made a world? Like, come on, it's so disorganized. I can do a much better job. Come on. So my uncle said to him, you know, if God can make an organizer like you, maybe he does know what he's doing after all. It's like, it sounds so stupid. Like, where did you get this from? <laughs> God gave it to you, so you, it seems incongruous. I mean, so what? Like, uh, so the guy's like, yeah, I guess you're right. That's a little stupid thing for me to say. I go, like, you, I can do it again. Like, no, you don't. Of course he can't do it. Of course everything's organized exactly, and there's all these trillions of cells. I, I uh, there's this guy that sent this article. It's a very interesting article. I didn't I didn't read the book, but the article explained that that there are certain people who are looking into evolution. These academic also people are holding. They're like, if you work through the math, then the timing that you need all these things to happen it's not nearly enough time but you need much 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 more time that's the uh, it's like nah it can't be there's got to be some kind of design because this is impossible and then you know the whole books they're working through to, to show this thesis and explain the thesis how it's true why it's true but actually yeah it's like uh, it's, it's not it's this incredible organization of the human body incredible organization the ability to see this incredible organization so then you look at the world and you're like oh this doesn't make sense I don't understand okay you know, I can understand and we know, of course, uh, you know, like the uh, the Baruch Rebbe told uh, Rabbi Yisrael, I'm also very fond of this beautiful piece. And he said, uh, Yisrael said, how could it be, Hashem, uh, a, a loving God could do to make the Holocaust? So the, the Rebbe said, you think it doesn't bother me, these questions? There's nothing wrong with asking questions. Just you have to ask them in the proper way. Abravi, you ask questions. What about stone? And he, he got us to a certain place. Well, Moshe Rabbeinu asked questions. Fine, but you just have to do it in a kosher way, the right way. With the moon and not from bed. And he says, you, because you're right. Why do you have this impulse? Why should a person have an, impo- an impulse that bothers him in justice? It bothers him that things seem very unfair and seems cruel. He says, because we need Mashiach. We need Beis Hamikdash. We need the ultimate rulers. And these things won't exist anymore. He said, we know that this is wrong. So, so that instinct is correct. It's not correct. It is correct. The problem is where they, again, this idea of the market. You have to have this Pach Shema, the seal, the Chosnamash Gavon Gadol, this, this Indian of the Oregonus, which is very, very hidden. That's what we're trying to access. On, on, on Hanukkah, we're able to access a little bit this or and get a little bit more, uh, transcend all these Inyanim, all these Kashas, all these things. You have to know, listen, it comes from wherever it comes from, fine, but I don't know. There are answers, very often there are answers, but there's some things that are just not answerable, you don't know, I have no idea. And that's okay, if in a Kashas start, you don't die from a Kashas, nothing happens. So that's this Indian of Kel Shaka Yitzelchem Rachamim. But there is a level where everything is going to be good, and everything is good. And on that level, everything can work in a different way. So for whatever reason, Hashem chooses to do things uh, sometimes different, seemingly difficult from our perspective. And that's the best possible way on the one hand, in, on one at plane. But Hashem could do it in another way, so that it, it works out a different way. So he said, Hashem should give you the Rachem, so you should perceive and see the Rachem. Rachem should be clear to you. Right, that's the scene of the Chosam Hashem Kohen Gadol. We want to, we want to shine in this ore. That's what Nasser says. We shine in this ore into the seven, 
seven layers right seven layers seven days of the week right these seven days we shine in this higher or, or a bean or whatever the child is whatever you want to say that it means this higher organ is whatever it is this higher level we shine in that that's how he explains it. and that also connects a little bit also it's something talks about this parasha where he speaks about the in, in, in Hanukkah where he speaks about um, he said listen you think that the Jewish people didn't set up the menorah in a way that's going to light the whole time he said either they because it says it's very schwer of things yeah, I should have said it but, sorry, but I'll say it here I guess it's a little bit schwer it says the Diko Neros Bechatris Kachecha. Light lit candles in your holy chatiris. Wait a minute, where was the menorah? In the Hechel, right? Presumably. So if it's in the Hechel, that's where it needs to be. So what do you mean, lit Bechatris Kachecha? What is the relevance of that? This needs to be completely non sequitur. What is it doing to anything? So Rav Tzadik says, listen, they must have either put all the oil in to be yoytzeh the mitzvah. Like, okay, we'll be yoytzeh the first bit of the mitzvah with the good oil. And then we'll use Tamiro, but yeah, but you'll use Tamiro to too much or whatever it is. And then they saw it lit and it stayed lit. So then they lit in the Chatseris also. And that they were allowed to do. And they saw the next year that they were able to motion the ore through the lighting, so they kept lighting. He said, even according to Bishosim, Bishosim says famously that they divided the wicks into eighths and they put an eighth of the oil. Because it's, you know, eight days to be able to last, eight days with, in, in Tahara. And it lasted and burned 100% of she made a bigger fire. He said, but pastures, they also used thinner wicks and enough oil to make sure it'll light so that halakhically it's your yotzev. The yotzev of having it lit the whole night. But it lit a stronger fire, lit, and they were like, wow, it's an incredible amazingness. It's as if it's full, they didn't, whatever it is, right? That's the feed of Esau, and the feed of Esau is terrible. He said, but that's, it's got to be, otherwise, why would you do some mitzvah, not a mitzvah? What are you doing? They had a plan. Is Hashem shine in this one? It's the same. That's the smallest one of Nasan is saying. You had this very, very big, big or that came in and shined in and, and gave in, gave a light, illuminated all these things. So we have to be Zohu. We have to know that everything is from Hashem. We can do anything, anything, anything. And we have to make Kli. We make Ami Kalim. We make Kalim. We make Kalim to be talking to Hashem. Look to Hashem. Look to Him. Make Kalim. We even make Kalim. First, we make Kalim. Make Kalim so that you make vessels so you can fill up the vessels. You can get a new reality. Right, that's why Abnasan asked Rabbi Nachman, how come tefillah helps? You deserve this, and this is the best for you. I want tefillah, what's tefillah now? Oh, please, uh, heal, let me heal. The guy needs to be sick, let me heal. So Rabbi Nachman said, it's not so clear why it works. The mice, it works, you do it anyway. It works, this is the truth, this is the way it works. It's not so easy to answer the question in such a... And Rabbi Nassim said, the way it comes out, and there definitely are places where it's, I don't know if Rabbi says this as well, this person, he's changing himself by the kid she was changes the person. He's supposed to be transforming. He's becoming more vessel. <coughs> he needs to reveal more and more. So that can make things change. Change the whole head. And maybe not one, so another, another. And again, the Master says, and the Chabzchah says the same thing. Things that, you know, the Zohar says something, the answer is no. You can have a feeling and the answer is no. Yeah, it's true. But usually, generally speaking, the reason why a person can get exactly what he wants and how he wants is because either he didn't doubt about it or he didn't doubt enough about it. That's what goes out. That's why again, you're in, a person's in for the long haul, like the hold on and the down and the feel that they keep asking, asking for Hashem helps. Shashu is okay to the or the very big or of Hanukkah. The Swarm say that all Yeshua is on Hanukkah. Every Yeshua, every Yeshua, anything, children, money, whatever you want, in this world, health. And then, of course, Baruchni is all the highest things possible in. in, in, in in spiritual matters, the bits that we can look at the nearest, just, just to see them, just to look at this all, oh, it's tremendous, tremendous power. And um, we should be zocha to this tremendous or and to, and to actualize our potential and to get to a place where Kelsh, Yaka, Yitin, Rachem, Rachem, it should be us, the Rachem. Amen.